Yeah, I'm pleased. Um, I thought we played some really good stuff in patches. Um, we need to get those patches to be uh, for longer periods. But I thought to lose had a real go. I thought you know they were they're a dangerous side. Um, then when they came back at us at the end of that first half, um, oh, you get a little bit concerned and that almost opportunism, the offloads that they were playing, the uh, some of the long balls and you know kicks ricocheting left, right, and centre um, because of some problems. So thankfully we were able to stick in there, especially at the start of the second half. Um, I think I thought it was a real challenge for our guys, and, and it's great to see us come through. So um, really pleased to get a win. It's it's been a while. It's nice to start this campaign off on the right foot, especially given um, the other results already this weekend. So. Um, it's great to win at home. Just touched on what they what they threw at you. You said that a little bit of fortune, a little bit of skill. They managed to show what they could do in the first half. What, what was your key message to your players to make sure that you stamped out any opportunities for them in the second half? Oh, we, want, we wanted to be more direct. We just felt it was a almost turning into a game of touch and pass. Um, very loose and offloady, and um, we just felt we needed to grab control of that through a bit more dominance in our contact, but also. Uh, been very direct with our play as well, and I, anyway, it took a little bit of time at the start of the second half, but I thought we we managed that really, really well. I thought Richie on last plays in particular really put us in the right position and made it tough for them to come out of those corners. So um, yeah, I'm pleased. Um, I thought it was a big one for us. Um, they will get some teams, and they're a good side. Seem to get a lot of value from your, your pivots, like you said, Richie Marlow there, particularly in the second half, very prominent. And Brad Dwyer causing them loads of problems around the middle. You, you've got some really dangerous players in your spine there moving forward. Yeah, we have, yeah. Um, and we need to keep working on those combinations. I don't think we've been able to really settle on. Um, so sort of Matty Parcells had a fair few injuries um, since I came back, and, and Jack Walker as well. So we haven't really had a settled one, six, seven, and nine. Um, you know, hopefully that will come in the next few weeks. But yeah, I was I was pleased with them. Carl Ablett stepped up and played, um, and they asked for us as well today. And I thought he was pretty good. So um, looking forward to next week. I know we're going up against a real dangerous side, but um, and having saw the last the last ten minutes against uh, against Widnes, and um, you know we'll have a good look at them this week. But um, be a tough one for us. Carl's round hole. Um, probably early to say, he's, he's walking around in there, um, as you know he's a bit of a freak isn't he, so he, he tends to recover very very quickly from um, what could be deemed really serious injuries, so um, he's smiling in there, let's see, I think we'll get him scanned Monday morning and, um, and I'd, at this stage I'd probably say he was a doubt for next week, but um, let's see. What, what is the injury? It's, it's a knee. knee. Anybody else back next week Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Um, hopefully, Stevie Ward. Um, besides that, I'm not quite sure. I think um, probably a bit early to say at, at this stage, other than Stevie. Um, maybe not, but I tend to get that news throughout as the week goes and as people progress. So. Was one of the pleasing aspects patience in the second half and wearing them down until the hour mark when you could then start scoring the points? Yeah, patience, composure. Um, I mentioned Richie Myler's last players as well. Um, I thought he got us around the field really well. and um, I thought Jonesy was really good as well at the start of that second half. I just thought he was nuggety and, and was able to clean a lot of things up for us. He gave us that directness that we needed in our carries. And, and then, like I said, Richie on the back just knew where to put it and I, and I also felt you know even when we lost our way um, on the odd last tackle you know you, you see a Brett Ferris roll a ball in or a Joel Moon roll a ball in that just just kept our composure and you're right patience. Kevin you're looking forward to crossing swords with um, Danny Ward next week should be an interesting game next Sunday. Yeah I, I don't think it's about us two. Um, I, I think We'll prepare well this week and we look forward to going down there, so um, we are a good side. Um, I think people have forgotten that we are a good side and I thought we played well in patches today and, and uh, the boys will take some confidence from that. We know London will, will pose as a, a, a real threat, 
but um, we look forward to it.